Hello, my name is Alex, and I'm a PhD student in Bioscience Engineering at the KU Leuven in Belgium. I wasn't around yet in 9 November 1989, but we cannot deny how much ideological barriers that were taken down since the fall of the Berlin Wall that is felt until this very day. When I was young, I always wanted to be a teacher. And did it happen? I believe so. In our research group, I've been mentoring younger colleagues and master students to become more critical in the research questions they're answering. I always encourage them to make their research more relevant, develop next generation technologies for the betterment of the society. The most sensitive sensor we have is a dog, or more specifically, a dog's nose. That's why they're in the airports, checking your bags, sniffing into your luggage to check whether you have items or substances that are not allowed in the plane. Studies have shown that dogs can actually be trained to sniff into our breath and check whether we have early signs of diseases such as lung cancer. Imagine if we're there telling us it's time for a more detailed checkup on our lungs. That will be great. In fact, that will be fantastic, but may not be very practical. I've been looking for a way to integrate a sensor that is as powerful as a dog's nose in your smartphones. Let me show you how it works. Your breath is composed of many different types of gas molecules that assume certain shapes and sizes. Here in the chemistry lab, we're developing a material called metal organic frameworks or MOFs. These MOFs, if you zoom into this, it looks like a very tiny sponge, which holds of about one nanometer. That's 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. The shapes and sizes of these MOFs can be tuned for a particular gas molecule you want to detect and will act as your super sensitive sensor when integrated into an electronic device, which can then be used to detect markers of diseases traced in human breath, such as lung cancer or COVID-19, toxic gases for indoor air quality monitoring, or even odors coming from spoiled food to check whether your leftover food is still good after five days in the fridge. In five years time, the time when we're looking at commercializing this technology, I am very hopeful that this dog snows in your smartphones can be used not only to detect drugs in airports, but can actually revolutionize the healthcare sector. We have found a way to manufacture this MOFs or MOFs in existing microfabrication facilities so that we can easily integrate this dog snows in your smartphones in a cheap, scalable, efficient, and safe way. Early diagnosis for any type of disease or ailment is very, very crucial. According to the American Cancer Society, early diagnosis of lung cancer increases the survival rate of patients by tenfold. With this dog snows in your smartphones, the levels detected will give you and your doctors an indication of whether it's time for a more detailed checkup on your lungs. This technology, together with more efficient treatment procedures, will hopefully save more lives. A good research is a research where you integrate a lot of methods, you follow the right procedures, highly analytical and supported by a lot of figures and data. But a great research is enabling a new technology for the benefit of the society. And that's what keeps me awake at night.